good morning everyone myself murli the ready in this video we are going to discussing about how to install sonar cabin linux linux is nothing but here amazon linux centros red hat whatever i am going to showcase to download it will be applicable for all amazon linux centros red hat okay let's see the demo first one first of all we record at least 4gb ram so what i did like i have created one server okay t2.medium and it is up and running and also i have connected the particular server as well okay the next step is you can install sonar keep using zip file so what i'm doing here go to google sonar cube lts version okay then here we, it will come like sonar cube long term support click here download pages here we have download right click and copy link address before going to download this one LTS version, first we have to install Java. As I said, like if you want to install 8.9.0.10 LTS version, we should record at least to OpenJDK 11. Okay, I'm going to install OpenJDK 11 first. So go to come here and run this command. See if you observe here, m install Java iPhone 11, OpenJDK iPhone 5. Okay, if you enter here, usually we are using Amazon Linux, right? They have their own command. We have to run that particular command. I'm copying this paste here. Okay. Now it will ask yes or no option. Yeah, here asking yes, D and S means yes, D means download, just N means no, cancel it. Okay. Now I'm giving Y. Y means it will be installed. Right. Now if you observe here, open JDK 11, it is installing. Yeah, it is installing 11.0.16 version. Fine. Now I'm checking Java icon version. You can observe here Java version is 11.0.16. Got it right? What is the next step? We have to download the SonarKit zip file. Okay. Here we came right, just copy link address and come here, go to the OPT directory. As I said, like every tool will be installed in downloading OPT directory only. Okay. You can observe here currently I'm in OPT. Now I'm using wget command to download the particular sonar kit zip file okay i'm i'm installing 8.9.10 this is the lts version lts is nothing but long term support okay if you use the long term support 99% it won't be any issue there is no any bugs as well if you use the latest version what will happen there might be some bugs okay now i'm using only open source and here if you see here 200k okay okay means it is the particular url is correct and it is downloaded what is the if you see here zip file is downloaded if you give the ll command the zip file is downloaded what is the next step we need to unzip it how can unzip using unzip command okay using unzip command i'm using unzip on sonar key waiter now if you see here it is the file is unzip now if you see here the file is unzip now i i want to change this uh directly if you observe here it is the name is very lengthy right and I, I want to rename it how can do Using mv command, you can able to do it. Okay. I'm doing sonar key by 8.10.2 sonar. Now if sorry, what happened? Not mv and mv by mistake. I type m. Now if you see here ll command, you can able to see sonar. Okay. What is it? Until we saw here, rename it. Okay. Now we can go to inside the sonar directory. Let's see what are the options available. Go to the sonar directory. We have multiple uh, files and directories. First, we'll discuss about bin directory. Inside the bin directory, we have a whether Linux x86, 64 or Windows 64 or uh, Mac. Currently, our server is Linux x86, right? Go to here. And here, we have a sonar that is this. This is the cell script. Using this cell script, you can start, stop, and everything. OK, you don't want to understand this entire script. Using this, just this, this particular script, Script, we can start and stop. If you observe here, we can start, we can stop, we can restart, and we can forcefully stop. If you want to check the status also, you can do running this cell script. I will show you later part, okay? And remaining lib and uh, wrapper, you can leave it, not the way. And next, come back. Next one, config directory. Let's see what other things is available. Yeah, inside the config directory, sonar properties. This is the main important. In and enter sonar key, this is the back one of the particular sonar key. Okay. Inside the sonar key, we can declare if we want to change the port number, if you want to declare database configuration, 
we can declare why we require to configure uh, database for example i have installed sonar keep i have configured something i have deleted the particular sonar key what will happen you will lose your data right in case if you configure with the database what will happen even though if you delete the sonar keep the data is available in sonar keep then you can restore if you want whenever required right so it is this particular database it will support uh, oracle mysql there are a lot of post sql it will be support lot of uh, databases okay and come down here come down yeah here next come yeah if you observe here this is sonar keep web host the default is 0, 0 okay we can connect through our uh, public ip okay that particular gui in case if you want to change uh keep it to particular uh, dns name domain name service server okay fully called for domain name you can declare here as well and coming to the web port the default as i said like the default port number is nine triple zero right in case if you want to change it currently this hash has been this commented okay it is taking default one if you want to change it you can uncomment and you can change this port number if you want okay these are the two majorly and also database configuration remaining you can leave you can also go through it you will be get more idea proper dot config you can not require you can leave it and the data this particular data we don't have anything next one elastic search required extension if you if you are using any extension plugins you can see here if you observe here default uh the sonar keep using jdbc driver okay if you want to configure external uh, databases you can configure inside sonar.properties only okay here you inside this particular plugins we have a plugin related to the particular sonar currently we don't have anything if you want to configure you can configure the extensions okay and then lib lib as i said lib is nothing but libraries okay inside the library we have a sonar keep related jar files okay next one logs if you want to verify any logs you can verify here currently we don't have anything the reason is we haven't start that particular sonar keep right that is the reason we are not seeing any logs as well next one temp directly if you want to store any temporarily you can use temp directly currently we don't have anything next one web directly you see here this is a web uh, it the, this particular web directory it contains like real to access in gui right but the particular sonar keep okay whatever is there you can able to see here index.xml everything okay case is nothing but javascript now what i'm doing here now i'm going to start the particular sonar keep go to the bin directory go to the linux x86 currently my server is linux server right? that's why i'm going to here in case your server is windows server you have to go to this one you have to run it remember for linux the file name is dot ss if you see the dot ss means it is a cell script okay how do we run this cell script as such and we have to run the particular cell script file name and then enter if you enter you can see the what are the options is available in the particular sonar.ss if you see here if you want to start if you want to see the console if you want to stop it if you want to restart if you want to stay check the status if you want to forcefully stop you can do it Currently, what I'm doing as such, sonar.ss, first I'm checking the status. If you see here, when you check the status, it is showing not running. The reason is we haven't started, right? Still no. That is the reason it's showing not started. Okay, now what I'm doing, I'm starting sonar, ss sonar.ss start. Now, if you see here, it is started. Okay, now I'm checking the status, sonar.status. Now, if you see here, it is not running. The reason is, the reason is i will tell you i'm going to lock directly rs i'm i'm opening the duplicate one i can explain easily okay the particular elastic search it won't be run root user if you observe our sonar keep is running as a root user right so it won't be accept now i'm going to insert the opt sonar okay here we have a locks directly right go to the locks directory here you can see that es dot locks tab yes dot lock you can see here cannot run elastics as a root okay it should be changed as user currently it is running as a root user right if you observe here currently it is running as a root user but sonar keep that particular elastics such it won't be support 
okay it should be run different user instead of running root user that is the reason we are getting runtime exception what i'm doing here i'm creating one user i'm back step i'm back one step now if you see here this particular sonar kit is running as a root user i'm creating one user the username is sonar okay now sorry user app using user add command create the sonar yeah user is created now user is created now i'm taking set up the password using passwd and sonar what are the uses of passwd if you want to set the particular password for particular user you can use passwd okay enter now it is asking username with password okay now fine now what i'm doing here i'm using ch ch1 hyphen r ch1 is nothing but change ownership currently it is running as a root user right we have created a sonar user now i am changing this root user to sonar user and this root user group to sonar cube group okay now what i am doing here sonar colon sonar as i said like colon before it is a user colon after it is a group okay now you can give sonar now what will happen if you give the iphone r in sub directories also it will be affect same user and group okay it will be change the ownership currently if you see here it is running sonar sonar okay now if we go to inside the sonar if we verify here in sub directories also it is affected the reason is we have given ch1 iphone r okay now what i'm doing here i'm going to inside bin directory and i'm go to the linux x86 now again i'm starting this sonar data set status now i'm taking the status i'm running the start now it is started the sonar key okay now we check the status now see still is not running the reason is the reason the reason is we have to yeah we have changed the user right sonar to sonar but we have to update that particular sonar user inside the sonar that properties that is the reason we are it is still it is not running okay where we can see that now not sonar that uh, inside the sonar dot properties inside the sonar dot sh file let's see where we need to change whether sonar dot sh yeah type it and i'm searching yeah if you see here here it is a run as a user right inside the sonar data set we have to change it okay just uncomment this one under run as a user you can mention here sonar you can mention here sonar okay now save with this now we can run that search command okay so as the sonar data set start now it should be start. Let me just check the status. Sonar ss sonar dot ss status. Now what happened is now if you observe here, sonar cube is running. Okay. The, this is the PID process ID. If you check here, sonar dot ss status. Now we are able to check it. In case if it face any issue, you have to check the log. Okay. Earlier, what happened? Why it was not running? This particular we are getting the error could not delete Elasticsearch temporary config directly. Okay, I'm checking this particular sonar.log file. I'm I'm seeing this error. The reason is inside the temp directory, this particular config directory is not able to delete. That is the reason. The reason is it's running as a root user. That's why it is not deleting. I have deleted manually using rm minus rf command. In case if you face any issue, go to this uh, temp directory. Delete this config directory. Okay. Delete config directory. Okay, got it right. Fine. Next one. Now he is seeing the sonar keep is up and running. Now we can access the GUI. Copy this public API. Remember, here we are using the public API in real time. We will be using the private API only. Colon 9300. Okay, enter. What is the default port number? 9300. Why you are not able to get the GUI? The reason is we haven't enabled the port number okay go to select the particular server and come here go to the security group select that one and here go to the inbound rules edit inbound rule add rule here custom tcp i'm giving the 9300 here i'm giving anywhere but real time you won't keep it as a 0, 0. we should be keep it particular cad range okay save rules ip range okay now we can uh, refresh this one now, if you observe here, now you are able to access. Okay, what is the default username password? The username is admin, the password also admin. Okay, then login. 
Now, when you log in, it will ask to set up a new password. I'm giving the old password admin and I'm giving here new password. Okay. When you are doing the first time, it will ask the uh, reset the password. Okay. Set up a new password. Okay. I'm giving admin at the rate one, two, three. Okay. Admin at the rate one, two, three. Then give the update. Okay. Now you are able to see your sonar cube GUA. If you see here, this is your profile. Okay. Go to the my account. You can able to see what are the user, this particular user, what are the groups, permissions available. SCM is nothing but source code management. Okay. And you can see the security. If you want to change your password, you can change it. If you want to generate token, you can generate it. Okay. This token majorly use it for uh, configuring inside the sonar cube and Jenkins. Okay. In case if you are using uh, any any if you are if you want to integrate this one or to be anywhere in code level okay any java code python code you can generate a token you can provide them instead of giving username password the best practice is creating the token and we can provide them they will be configuring their code okay to access our sonar cable and here notification you can see here if you want to enable it you can enable the particular uh, notification part and here project currently we don't have any project and also we have a lot of options will be there here okay or oh, once we uh integrated this one of you to next sorry maven it will be generated the particular application we can push here now i can explain the each and every option what are the things available and one more thing as i said like uh in code quality we have a bugs and vulnerabilities code smell if you see here in these issues bugs vulnerability code smell these are the three major things okay as I said, like so now is a static code analysis tool. Okay. I hope you understand that how we can install the sonar key in uh, Linux, either Amazon Linux, CentOS, Red Hat, all are having the same process only. Even uh, Ubuntu also almost similar only. Okay. Fine. Any question? No, right? If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next video.